Coming up, I'm gonna share a really cool way you can literally double the number of keywords you're targeting for the US App Store and any App Store. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place you go when you want action-packed app marketing strategies that work today, that work today in today's app environment. And today, I wanna show you a cool way to double the keywords that you're targeting for the US App Store. And so are other stores, but this in particular is for the US App Store. So for those who don't know, the US App Store indexes the Mexican Spanish localization so that if you have English keywords in your app name and your keyword field, you literally double the amount of downloads, the amount, sorry, I always say downloads, the amount of keywords that you're actually targeting for your app. So if I had Snapchat, let's say I'll start targeting Snapchat or Instagram, and I wanted to hide the fact that I was targeting these keywords, well, I might put that into the Mexican Spanish keyword or app name and hope that it gets through when Apple is reviewing it. So that's the way to do it, and I'll show you how to do it right now. So what you wanna do is go into your apps, go into the app that you're targeting, and here, if you wanna change the app name, you do it right here in this screen, the app information screen. This is the English one, so this is what will appear in the US English. Now, the, the Mexican Spanish, it won't appear if my default language is English, but if I my default language is Mexican Spanish, then it will, this app name will appear. So what you wanna do is click right here, where it says English, and find Mexican Spanish. So Spanish Mexico, okay? I'm gonna click Spanish Mexico. And as you can see, I've already localized it, but this is the localized name for Spanish Mexico. I obviously translated Spaceman and put Dodgeball in there in the Mexican Spanish. But if you wanted to add more, so I can say Instagram for more likes, something like that in my app name, this will actually be indexed by the US App Store, but it won't show up unless I have the Spanish Mexico done as the default language in my app store. Okay, so if I'm in the US App Store and I have English, I will never see this, but I'll start indexing and ranking for these keywords that I have in the Mexican Spanish localization. Okay, now where do you do the keywords? So let me show you. So I'm gonna go to, I won't save these. So go, you'll have to create a new version, right? That's the thing with iOS is, yeah, always have to create a new version anytime you wanna update your keywords or your app name. But here's the keywords for my English. As you can see, and then here again, all I have to do is click over to Spanish Mexico. And again, you'll see all the different keywords. So here's where you can change it. Now I have it in Spanish right now, but if the strategy here is to have it in English. So I could have Instagram or color switch. Right, if I'm targeting these keywords, then I can have them in English and I'll start indexing and ranking for these keywords because they're in the Mexican Spanish. Now this works, if you wanna see a real case study, go back to one of my videos, I'll put it into the show notes, but where I compare Center Tower and Mobile Action and you'll see real data that shows, hey, this is a Mexican or Spanish Mexico keyword and where my client is currently ranking. I don't reveal the actual keyword, I reveal the ranks and the data that I get from Sensor Tower and Mobile Action. But this is a quick and easy way to literally double the amount of keywords you're targeting in the US by localizing, by using keywords, English keywords, in your app name and keyword field for the Spanish Mexico localization. All right, that's it. Go submit your app, go out there, do some damage, Thank you so much for your attention. I wanna make this quick and easy, but I hope you know now where to do it within iTunes Connect. So you can show this video to your developer or you can do it yourself. 
All right, guys. Oh, and if you want access, I did write an ebook on ASO. If you want access to that, you can use the links below. It is an Amazon ebook. So go ahead and check it out. And it sort of talks through the whole strategy that I have for ASO. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> I forgot to mention, Center Tower actually published a great blog post that shows you all the localizations that each country indexes. So if you're doing the UK app store, you'll see that different localizations are actually indexed by the UK app store. You can literally double and triple the number of keywords you're targeting for some for different regions of the world. So check that blog post out. I'm gonna link it up to the show notes, but it's, it's a great resource. And I highly recommend you check it out. All right, guys, that is it, finally. All right, I'll see you on the next video.